Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did want to come on and talk about a newish bag that I have recently uh, added to my collection. So I've had this particular bag for about two weeks now and I have used it on and off to give it a go and to give you my honest uh, review and feedback on how I liked it. I wanted to give you an overview of the features and just kind of show you how I have it packed up today. Um, so without any ado, here it is here. Now this is from the brand Carry Kit. I have done uh, some other reviews of their other styles. Recently the Greta, which I do have right here. And I have actually been using this one so much since I got it. It's probably one of my favorite styles. But this one here, this is the Midi Lenox. And this is a little bit bigger. So I have had the regular size Lenox in the past and I use that as a diaper bag way back when my daughter was younger uh, but of course I outgrew that bag or it outgrew me sorry <laughs> I guess I decreased my stuff so anyways I wasn't filling the bag up wasn't using it how it was supposed to so I ended up selling that one I was very excited when Kerry came out with a miniature version of that style this particular one is in the mink which is a kind of newish color that she released for the fall uh, winter line and uh, it is just a beautiful smooth full grain leather I just kind of give you a close-up there if you can see so this has some beautiful features it is the perfect size for a mini diaper bag or for a um, mom bag I'm actually using it as a purse or if I'm going out with my um, older my younger daughter or if I need a little bit more things if I just want to kind of have a nice slouchy handbag style look so I'll quickly go over the features of the, the Mini Lennox and then I'll show you how I have it uh, packed up. And amongst all of that, I'll give you my review and feedback on how I've liked this bag so far. This is basically the same layout as the uh, regular size Lennox on the outside. So you do have two zipper pockets here with really nice leather tassels and the Kerry Kit logo on the front there on the little, uh, oh, I can't think of the word. <laughs> little things right here this is again one of those zippers you have to kind of pull up and go sideways to get in as I said I have done some reviews on the full-size Linux which I will link below um, so you guys can go check that out as well if you want to it does have little side bottle pockets now I am on it I'll be honest I'm not a big bottle pocket on the side on the outside kind of person even on diaper bags I tended to want to put my bottles on the inside unless it was a backpack and it was supposed to look that way so I do use these these um, pockets for something other than bottles but they are really nice to have there there's also a zip pocket on the back as well which is nice uh, nice size this has light gold hardware that you can see here so it's not all in your face or anything like that it's not bright and shiny it's just the perfect amount of shine this strap here comes with the bag so uh, you can get a Gretchen strap which is the same style as this strap but it's just a little longer but this one's pretty good it does sit so I'm 5'9 so it does sit you can see you know it slouches down so it sits fine on my shoulder I usually push it back like this and walk around with it and it is very comfortable so I don't have a problem with this just using it with this strap it also comes with a crossbody long strap to use because with this bag because it can actually turn into a backpack so the, here it is here I find this is a little bit too thin so I don't use this, I haven't even unwrapped it. So I, I don't use this if I'm using this bag crossbody. I do use a different strap, strap, which I'll pop a picture up here. You can see, and I'll pop the link down below. It's one that I got from Amazon probably like two years ago. And it's fantastic. I use this on so many bags. But to be honest, I do really like just have, using it with this, especially if I'm able to just put it down. You know, if I'm not carrying it around all day and I can just put it down in trolleys or at restaurants, this little grab and um, shoulder strap is really, really good. There are feet, four feet on the bottom of the Mini Lennox. And then, as I mentioned, it can be backpack style. So there are little uh, loops down the bottom here that pull out. And then you connect it to here and then thread it through this D-ring, through this other D-ring, and then onto here. Now, I'll be honest, I am not gonna wear this as a backpack. Uh, there are many reviews out there that show you how it's worn as a backpack. It looks okay. If you've ever had I guess like the Lily Jade, say Madeline, it kind of looks like that when it's on your back. Uh, I just think this looks the nicest as a handbag. I don't particularly want to put it on my back. If I did, I would rather just have a regular backpack for that. But you know, personal preference and all. I need to mention that this bag actually does have a zip closure. 
so which is a, a nice addition because the original mini uh, the, the original Lenox set that I had years ago it had a magnet closure which I didn't like little magnets here that, that closed and I didn't mind that actually I kind of to be honest a lot of the time with this bag I do have it open and I just kind of use it like this unless I know that I'm gonna put it like hang it up over something and then I'll close it just for security reasons but that having that zip closure it is a nice option the only thing is I find it's a little bit of a pain to zip and kind of have to grab like the side of the bag here like squeeze it together with my hand and then pull the zipper so that's one thing that I mean it's doable but it's it's probably not my favorite <laughs> feature of it uh, and then the uh, these pockets they're cute and everything but because the bag is so squishy sometimes it can be a little bit hard to open and close those but otherwise not too bad these bottle pockets are easy to get in and out of if I when I get a job down in the future after I finish school and everything this would be the perfect work bag I just think it looks really classy and the mink is just a beautiful color it's like that kind of pinkish brownish depending on the on the um, light and day and I'll pop some pictures up so you guys can see that you know in different lighting and everything that I've taken of this bag but I think it's a really nice color this is a limited edition color so once these are gone in all the different styles that's it I'm pretty sure this is actually sold out uh, but if you join the uh, carry kit buy sell trade and kit girls group which I'll pop below as well you'll be able to find some deals on there because people do get them in there and they sell them or whatever so there they are they do pop up for sale so if you do like this color and this style that's probably where to go look for it at this point but there are uh, additional colors in this style available on her website and she will be having a uh, Black Friday sale in the next week I believe and these I'm pretty sure will be included in the sale the Greta won't be but I'm pretty sure these and the Midi Joy will be included. So if you're after like a Midi Star bag, check that out. So let's get into the packing portion. I will show you how I fit all my normal things in this bag, bag and yeah. here. So, so as I mentioned before, there are two really pretty pockets here. They do go on slants. So the way that I organize my things is how I would reach for it when the bag was on my shoulder. So the things on this side that would be closest to me is what I would be pulling out the most so that's why I would put certain things over this side so we'll start over here so in this little pocket here I do have my key clay by Louis Vuitton with my keys in it and that does fit perfectly in there I do have to put it in then turn it but it does fit nicely in there and these zippers are quite smooth because of the way they fall you do kind of have to I find the best way to do it is to pull it to the you know across and then zip kind of like on the other Lennox they are a little bit different than the other Lennox I had but to you know effectively use the zipper that's how I like to do it and this side which is the side closest to me I do have my lipstick and lip gloss in there and then on the pocket side on this side I have a couple of masks for me and my daughter just kind of shoved in there <laughs> and then on this side over here I have my cell phone which is an iPhone 11 Pro so that actually fits in there perfectly or today I was actually putting it in this back zipper pocket too which I will spin the bag around and let you have a look here so this is quite a roomy pocket it, it I mean it goes all the almost all the way down the bottom of the bag my phone fits in there perfectly fine a mini wire pouch fits in there you can fit all sorts of things in that pocket it's really handy and as you can see the detailing here on the leather and everything it's very very pretty so I'm just gonna take this strap off real quick so I can get into the bag a little bit better to show you but just to give you kind of more of a close-up of the strap so this is a very very pretty strap and this is not <laughs> this does not do anything it's not functional it's just aesthetic value my husband grabbed the strap and started zipping it I'm like no no honey it doesn't do anything he's like oh well that's it but I'm like no it's just to look at it. it's pretty <laughs> so these D rings are nice and big so you can fit any other straps with different hardware you want to put on here which is nice and they are really good quality they're nice and thick they don't feel cheap or anything so to go into the center of the bag this zipper does it doesn't go all the way to the end now there is a stopper right here which you can remove very easily if you wanted to I've just left it for now because I don't I don't necessarily get you know need to zip zip it open fully I can still get in and see all my things so they give you kind of a look in there as you can see they don't have much in the center they're all in these wonderful pockets that are in this bag so 
First of all, in the center though, I do have a play pack that I brought for my daughter to use when we went out, although she didn't end up using it, but we had it anyway. And then I have three little Toki Doki horse things she wanted to bring. And then in the back here, there is a leather lined uh, pocket, zip pocket. And here I do have a, this is like an antiseptic hand sanitizing kind of wipes, but I use these to actually wipe down the tables. And I did get these from uh, Target. So if you want to check those out, I haven't been able to find them again, but they have been pretty handy. And this is a nylon zipper, all the rest are metal zippers, in case you're wondering. Now next to this pocket is a pen loop, and I do have a little pen that I got from Amazon. I'll put the link down for this one too. I have one in my Greta and in my Lennox because that way I don't have to switch it around. But it's really cool because it just kind of, you pull it up and it makes it bigger, push it down, it clicks, and it's perfect size to go into these bags. So you can put a full size pen in there, but then it kind of put, it goes into the pocket below it. So I usually just put the smaller pen in there. Now there is a key loop here or a key fob loop thing and on this I actually do have my hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works inside of one of these little holders and I actually connect that to my to the key leash here because you can pull it out easily and, and use that and, it pop, and then I pop it into this pocket that's below it there is a nice pocket below here that goes into. There's a pocket next to it that's about this, that's the same size and this I have my small set piece with all my bits and bots and uh, first aid and things like that in there. There's another little pocket below that which I'm not sure I don't use that I think that's I'm not sure what you're supposed to use that for um, and honestly I could just do without that but that's there. <laughs> now there are pockets on either side of the bag of the inside of the bag here that I guess are for bottles too but I actually have this side I just have some personal items that I had to bring with me today and they fit perfectly in there and flip the bag around so on this side is where the pocket would be for if you had a, a um, tablet uh, a 13 inch MacBook Pro does not fit in here uh, it's a little too big but a iPad Pro does now the way this pocket is connected, so you've got a leather tab that clips to here and then this pocket actually unclips too. So you can have, either have it as one big pocket where you can fit an iPad or electronics in or reading tablets or anything like that or you can click it together in the middle like I had it and then this you know goes over the top and you've got two pockets. So that's how I use it. So on one side I have a mini wipe pouch with hand and face wipes and on the other side I have my wallet that I'm using right now, which is a Coach Tabby wallet in saddle. I just recently got this and it's beautiful. I love it so much because my other one is off getting repaired from Louis Vuitton. So there's a little look inside of the bag here. Uh, it's a, It's got really nice wipeable lining as well. Uh, it's all sewn into the bag, which is a new thing they've done recently with Kerry Kit. Instead of having this lining pull out, it's all sewn down the bottom. So this is a really, really nice option for a purse, for a handbag, for a work bag for a mini nappy bag. I think it's a really well designed, thought out little um, handbag and it's just beautiful and unique looking. So I hope you enjoyed the review and uh, packing of the Kerry Kit Mini Lennox. If you have any questions or comments, please pop them below. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you for the next one. Bye.